think that this will work for every type of cancer. Yeah. It's not to say, I'm sure there are varying degrees. If you've been given a terminal diagnosis, you know, that might not be the situation for you. But for people who uh, also would like to prevent cancer, the ketogenic diet can be an assist in that, in helping keep your inflammation levels low. Yeah. So. Yep, and so, and you know, I never knew that your mom didn't go through the chemo. I never knew. No, that. she did not. I she opted either. not to do chemo, chemotherapy and radiation. She did have surgery, um, and she had grafts and things like that because her, her cancer was on the top of her head. It was squamous cell carcinoma, and so she had to have the lesion removed, and of course that, you know, took a large part of her scalp. Mm -hmm. And so they took the scalp from at first they took a graft from her back and did it and it did not take. Hmm. So it the body rejected it and so they actually had to remove the other side of her scalp, put it over here and then take another graft. So hmm. anyway, she's yeah. But um and miraculously her hair grew back and yeah. all of those things. Yeah, so sure. it was and She's still practicing a form of a ketogenic diet. She's a little more towards the carnivore side now than she was previously, but she's really enjoying it. So, yeah. Hmm. So the bottom line, animal and human research suggests ketogenic diets may benefit people with certain cancers when combined with other therapies. So there, this article is not in any way suggesting that you only practice the ketogenic diet no, it's for not. your cancer. It's not. It's saying in conjunction with whatever else your doctor suggests, but it can help, like I said, with the side effects of other therapies that you might choose to use. Right. And when we do these types of keto conversations, so first of all, we're referencing an article. Right. This one, again, we like it because it has... It takes you to different studies right. that have been done. Because if you want to geek out and on studies. And research that's <laughs> been done. But our hope again is that you, if it interests you, that you go and do your own research. And these kinds of articles can also be helpful if you have loved ones or co-workers or other people who might not be in support mm -hmm. of what you're doing. An article like this with actual studies in it might help people understand your line of thinking if you are practicing the ketogenic lifestyle and maybe people think it's unsafe or other things like that. Being able to send them an article like this to someone with those thoughts might be helpful in getting them to understand why you are practicing this lifestyle. Yeah, they may never agree with you, but you know, at there's... least this is some kind of you know food for thought for them. Yes, yes, it gives them some kind of framework to say that hey, she's not, they're not just really off the rocker and yeah just doing something crazy, <laughs> but there actually is some research exactly. science behind 